I said, hey guys, I know it's quarantine period. I'm trying to come at you with as many videos as possible so you guys can have an entertained Saturday night. Now, as we do know, Jack Fowler, how have you done my intro? Wow. Hey guys, it's Murad Rodi. Hope you guys are doing well today. Subscribe if you haven't and you're watching for the first time. Daily, consistent content, 24 seven. Inject it. Jack Fowler from Love Island. It's funny how he was like one of the most popular people from his cast. He was, I think he was a cast of more individual who just came in late and he was so popular. He had, he was really charismatic, had a great kind of personality, has done videos here and there. And it's still somebody who I assume isn't hated. Like he's still liked or loved, but like just the, I don't know what it is, but like the relation to some of these Islanders and how we like them or love them just completely like goes or massively drops when a new season starts, it's just quite scary because he was so popular from his season and now we don't even think about him that as much and to post two seasons and I find that interesting. Anyways, my mind is jumping into music. I don't know why. I was gonna you know, review the song via the TV, but we know what happened when I reviewed Love Island related music last time and I'm not wasting my time doing that again. Please, they're trying to kill me out here, please. I'm correct. What are you doing? What is y'all doing? What is he doing in this cube? Somebody tell me now before I start going mad. When I start going mad right now, people are going to get irritated. What did y'all do in this group? How did he contribute? Please. But it's always Samira holding the notes. Wes is running around rapping and these two are useless clown fools. Okay, we can see it changing now as well. Let's end the performance anyways. I'm done with this entire group. Um, hopefully they have been voted off. If they have been, if they haven't, I really don't know. Like I don't watch a show like that. I'm pretty sure no one does because the show is dead. You need to just really exit the stage. You jumped off the stage clearly, but unfortunately you jumped back on. So I thought I would do it from my phone and we can just get into, you know, his new song. It's called Back To Yours. It's uploaded on something called Jack Fowler, but this, is somebody else called Jack Fowler. So I'm very confused because there's another Jack Fowler with a bald head and he's got all of his songs and now Jack Fowler, I don't even know. The song's called Back To Yours and we're just gonna listen to it and you know, react to it. Hopefully it's a good song. Whew, let's go. Oh, we're going for a slow kind of medium. That's what we're going for. Sensual, slow, relaxed. She's got the dress on top. Auto team everywhere. Auto team. I'm not mad at auto team if you do it right. Okay, but I think the all tune is just the all tune is too much. Are you too pain? Please. The chorus is okay. I feel like it's like a B-side track. Like it's not something that should be a single. But I feel like for Love Islander, like I don't know. Like if we go back to the hotel, there will be investigations. Are you the police? Are you some? Are you like a low-key op? Are you a fed? It's a bit dirty. That all tune. I'm not mad at it, but it's not. I expected better from him. It has, it has, it has some potential to do. You know, to be in the top 500 of the shin charts. You know, it's not as. See, this is where we go wrong now, Jack. This is where we go wrong. This is where we go wrong. What are you rapping for? Why are you trying to do spoken word? I don't understand. Stick to the hotel investigation nonsense, whatever you were saying in your chorus. Keep it slow and sensual. If you want to go with the auto tune, go with the auto tune. But why are you now trying to go into a rap situation at the same time? But you're not really rapping, you're just reading off. You know, you know them ones, we all heard that one person who was a slow reader in classroom. This is what was coming across to me. No shade, no tea. And I just feel like that was, that really took me by surprise because it was going mediocre, okay, but it just wasn't that great in terms of, I don't know why you're speaking though. Yo, don't press pause. No fun when you play by the laws. For one night only, sure, yeah, I'm on yours. Anything goes, girl, that's my move. 
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, why are you talking? I don't understand. Man's you're really just talking on the track. Man said, it's that time, baby, let me, let me taste my food. That's how he said it. It's that time, baby, let me taste my food. My food. I feel like, first and foremost, his artwork isn't that bad for somebody who, you know, it's suave, he's coming out of a thing, of a beamer of some car or whatever, I don't even know, child, some car. And he's coming out in a suit, about to, he's looking dapper, he looks great. So I feel like the, the artwork isn't that bad. I like the back to yours. The chorus is okay. It's a little bit catchy, and I feel like it has something that can be explored and played with. But we need to talk about that bridge. Because, child, that bridge in your song, I'm trying to get to the other end, but that bridge is falling down. And I just feel like there was no need for you to be talking for that long. It was like some spoken word. You're, you're really doing that LMA. The way she speaks at the end of her songs, this is what you're doing. And I feel like, if anything, do that at the end of the song. I feel like you should have come up with a different bridge because it is quite elongated as well that you kind of lose sense when you're going from the chorus to you're just, you're just talking and then your chorus again. And I just feel like there was a lot of auto tune. If you can't sing, beloved, just put the singing career down. If you cannot sing, don't use so much auto tune. You're not T-Pain, that kind of time has passed. And I just feel like the auto tune was a lot. And I feel like perhaps there is a, you know, there was a beat that, you know, I liked and there was a note or two that was quite cute. And the chorus itself was okay. It has progression and I feel like it does have a chance to reach the, the top 500 when it comes to the charts. And that is okay. But I do feel like, you know, I didn't expect Jack Fowler to come out with a song. I think he announced that he is, that he was. Just the talking was just a bit too much. The artwork is nice. He looks suave, he looks great. The chorus was okay. It's slow and sensual, like a kind of B-side relaxing kind of song. So, you know, there are some positives and negatives to this. I feel like I don't want to just bash the song to be unfair on him and I have to be unbiased. And I feel like there was some positive points and some negative points as well. But the talking, I don't know where that came from. I just, look at me doing unboxing. I don't know, I don't know what. Let me know your thoughts are. Please do subscribe, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Morali, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.